the next painting we're going to be doing is actually your first canvas painting. It's size 8 inches by 10 inches, so it can be done with landscape or in portrait. It's completely up to you. Um, but this is our first painting we're going to be doing on canvas. Uh, the subject matter should already be approved. It's a photograph that you have taken, and you've taken it outside. So a lot of the uh, subject matter I get is students' work that's landscapes like this one is. They could also be a close-up outside of an animal, um, of a particular spot in the landscape. It's kind of up to you. Regardless, make sure that gets approved first. If it's not been approved yet, make sure you talk to me, email me, so we can make sure you get you on track where you need to be at. To get to this stage, this is the finished piece. This is one that's already been done on canvas from previous years. But to get to this stage, you need to make sure your picture has been cropped 8 by 10, 8 inches by 10 inches. And from there, you need to make sure you graph it and redraw that from that image. So if you don't know how to do that, go back to the first project we did, the monochromatic paintings, watch that video, look at the notes, and explain how to take that picture that's been cropped and printed and redraw it onto scrap paper. So with this one, I'd already gone through and I redrew it on scrap paper. I went through with my scrap paper and I measured 8 inches by 10 inches. I'm using this edge of the paper as a 90 degree guide so I can measure everything off of that to make sure everything was square and perfect. 8 inches by 10 inches, 1 inch by 1 inch grid. Take a look at your picture. That should be gridded out as well. Again, if you don't know how to do this, go back to the monochromatic painting at the very beginning of the year and redraw the main parts of your image. Not every detail, just the main parts. Uh, if you look at the notes, I've got some three different pictures there where I have pretty good examples about what to do with different situations. And if you're unsure, just make sure you email me and I'll do my best to answer those questions. Um, but if you look at the finished piece here, you can see some of the main things. The mountains in the background, uh, the edge of these mountains. Um, I do have trees. I'm going to draw the basics of that. The water line, some of the rocks. Those things should be drawn. And you can see that's been drawn out in the example here. So that should not be hard. That should be something you guys should be able to do in one sitting pretty easily. From there, you're going to need to transfer that onto your first piece of canvas that's 8x10 as well. Now, if you don't have the canvas, be sure again that you've emailed me so I can get you this and any other materials you may need in the future. But as far as getting this drawing to this canvas, we're going to do a technique called a rubbing. It's something I alluded to back in some of my previous videos, videos but I'm going to go through and, get, and go through this so you can see it being done, at least started. So once it's been redrawn, on the back of this, either on a window or a tracing table, wherever your lines are at, and you'll be able to see them pretty easily through the light on a window or a tracing table, wherever you see those lines on the back, so this is the back of my drawing, that's where you want to take a pencil. A softer pencil is better, but a regular pencil will work. And wherever those lines are at, make it very, very, very dark. Don't do the entire sheet, just do wherever you see the lines. Otherwise, you'll just have a giant mess of graphite. It doesn't transfer very good. But once you've taken your drawing, you've redrawn it to scale with the graph, you've taken this, put up to a window so you can see the back of it. You'll see your lines. Put the graphite on all the lines that need to be transferred. Take your drawing, line it up onto your canvas, just like I am here, so you can see it all being lined up on this edge. Then I would take some masking tape. I wouldn't use scotch tape. I wouldn't use duct tape. Um, just use regular brown masking tape, just like this. And a couple of pieces on the top. Just like this. And that's going to go over the edge. What that's going to allow me to do is as I'm transferring, or even as I'm painting, I can lift this up and see what's going on underneath. It works very well. The only thing we need to do, if you've got this drawn correctly and you have all the lines with graphite on the back, is tape it like this and then transfer it. And transfer, you're actually going to be using a ballpoint pen. Now, a ballpoint pen is really important. You can do it with another pencil or a different type of pen, but a ballpoint pen is nice because it actually has a ball at the end. So as you're going through and transferring, the rolling of the ball will transfer lines a little bit easier. So now I've got a line area here. I'm just going to do this little section so you can see how it transfers. 
I'm going to take the pin, push down a little bit, and just let it roll over the line so you guys can kind of see how this goes. Now once I get to this end, I'm going to stop so I can kind of show. So I've stopped here. If I lift it up now, I can see if it's transferring. And as you can see, the graphite from the back is now making a rubbing onto the canvas. And that's how you will go through and do your entire drawing here. Don't do the graph lines. We don't need those anymore. Just do the drawing itself. From there, it's a matter of going through now and painting it step by step. Typically in all paintings, we'll go from the furthest back to the closest. So that's how you transfer. If I were to start painting this, and again, you can look at my notes for examples. I've got different scenarios. And of course, you can email me if you have questions, but with this particular painting, the furthest back is the sky. Then I'd go through work on the mountains here. Then go through the trees. Go through with these dirt areas down here at the bottom, do the water, and then these closing trees here at the end, and you'll be finished. It's going to take us about two and a half to three weeks to finish this. Um, I would say about close to Thanksgiving, I'm going to start talking about the next painting, but be aware, be checking Google Classroom for all your stuff. Email me if you have questions, but that's how we take our drawing that's been graphed and making sure that it's been transferred correctly onto our canvas to begin our first canvas painting, a photograph that you have taken outside.